With everything going on on our planet, iterations and innovations are more than welcome. And with the knowledge that our planet is deteriorating by the second, our best minds have begun looking to outer space to find solutions to not just fix our current problems, but to ensure that they do not reoccur. This certainly gives us a lot to talk about, analyze, and be expectant over. This is why it's our pleasure to inform you that in today's video, we'll be excitedly sharing with you all we know about China's decision to launch twin radar satellites for 3D mapping. The Blast Off. We're happy to tell you that in truth and spirit, China has been decisively busy in 2021. They've ramped up their space-led activities in a bid to dominate the modern space race. Maybe not dominate dominate, but at least be one of the major power players. This might be why Beijing conducted the 29th orbital launch of the year by blasting off twin satellites to boost its remote sensing and mapping capabilities. We saw the Long March 4B lift off from the Taiyuan Launch Center to deploy the twin satellites into near polar orbit around 500 kilometers above the planet. This deployment was, however, confirmed by the U.S. space tracking data that reported to Tianhui-2 satellites in orbit. The launch was reported only by the state-run media in China, stating that the satellites were developed by the Shanghai Academy of Space Flight Technology and will be mainly used for scientific experiments and research, land and resources surveying, and geographic surveying and mapping. This was the ninth mission of the Long March 4B carrier rocket series this year and the 384th flight mission of the Long March series. Meanwhile, it's not the first launch of a pair of Tianhui-2 satellites. The country had launched Tianhui-2 satellites in April of 2019 for a similar approach to map the areas it surveyed. The rationale behind the launch. One of the things to note is that the Tianhui-2 satellite system is China's first official microwave surveying and mapping satellite system. You might be thinking, big deal, so what's the plan? Well, the plan is simple. The two satellites will orbit information, mapping the Earth so that their respective data can be combined to create 3D maps with a resolution of a whopping 9.8 feet or 3 meters. If that is motivation enough, nothing else is. Comparison between Tandem X and Terrasar X. We fully understand it'll be impossible to talk about the wonders of this launch without first paying homage to China's previous launch of Tandem X and Terrasar X combination in 2010 and 2011, respectively. So we'll be giving you a bit of a history lesson to sort of jog your memory and help you to stay on track. First off, both the Tianhui-2 satellites and the Long March 4B rocket were developed and manufactured by the Shanghai Academy of Space Flight Technology, a major subsidiary of China's giant state-owned main space and defense contractor, the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation. The previous pair of Tianhui-2 satellites, or Group 1, was launched in April of 2019 and were likewise described as for scientific experiments, land resource survey, geographic survey, and mapping. Post-launch plans. It'll benefit you to know that with the successful launch of the Geofen 7 satellite via Long March 4B, the basic BDS Constellation deployment is almost complete. China plans to provide navigation services with the Long March 4B to countries participating in the Belt and Road Initiative by the end of this year. This is a key step for BDS developing from a domestic experimental system to a regional and then a global navigation system, said Yang Chang Feng, chief designer of the Baidu system. We also got to know that the positioning accuracy of the BDS system has been improved to be twice as high as the BDS-3 system, so it's wise to expect truly profound things from this new venture. Named after the Chinese term for the Big Dipper constellation, the Baidu system started serving China in 2000 and the Asia-Pacific region in 2012. Putting it all together, as China's first ever civilian submeter level optical transmission 3D cartographic satellite, the claim that Gale Fen 7 will be used in various fields seems very realistic. Kai Hai Yi, the chief designer in the launch team, claimed that land mapping, urban and rural development, and statistical surveys will greatly contribute to the planning of city clusters and the development of rural villages. He also went as far as stating that Geofen 7, the most accurate scientific research mapping satellite in the Geofen series, and can realize 3D mapping with a scale of 1 to 10,000. Not to be forward, but this level of accuracy has never been achieved before, and we're more than ecstatic that it's prospect. Here's a bit of insight as to why. China's previous Xiuan 3 satellites could comfortably achieve a mapping scale of 1 to 50,000. This meant it could clearly map highways and a few notable landmarks. By comparison, however, the Geofen Fen 7 can accurately locate tinier landmarks inclusive of small country lanes. 
In a statement released by the China Academy of Space Technology under the state-owned China Aerospace Science and Technology Corp., the 3D capability of the Gaofen 7 was stressed, noting it is also the only satellite in the Gaofen series capable of taking 3D pictures. Once the Gaofen 7 is in orbit, it will form the first optical 3D cartographic satellite constellation together with the two Xuan-3 satellites that are already in orbit positive changes, and the Gaofen 7. We already know that this innovation will effectively boost Chinese satellite's capability to cover the land in 3D and reduce the country's dependence on foreign data, but a lot of us don't know how. Cao Haiyi, chief designer of the Gaofen 7 at the Chinese Academy of Space Technology, explained that the Gaofen 7's horizontal positioning accuracy of ground objects is within 5 meters, and the height measurement accuracy is about 1.5 meters. It's like a precise ruler for measuring the land. Before the launch of Gaofen 7, we could only precisely locate superhighways, but now Gaofen 7 can help us accurately locate rural roads too, Cao said. The main users of Gaofen 7 are the Ministry of Natural Resources, the Ministry of Housing and Urban Rural Development, and the National Bureau of Statistics. This launch was actually a necessity as China claims to have an urgent need for 1 to 10,000 scale surveying and mapping data because the country has undergone rapid economic development. These drastic changes in the urban and rural structures include a sharp reduction in farmland and frequent natural disasters. So the Gaofen 7 will help solve problems in monitoring geographical conditions, housing, urban rural construction, and national statistics. Cao also explains it might serve major national projects, planning, and economic construction. For example, the development of the Xiangyan New Area, the selection of venue sites of the 2022 Beijing Winter Olympics, and key projects along the Belt and Road all need high-precision surveying and mapping data for decision-making. In the past, surveying and mapping work was labor-intensive and lasted for months or even years. With the new satellite, these tasks can be completed in minutes, Cao said. Then there's the positioning accuracy of vehicles and mobile phones which is determined by navigation satellites. But map accuracy is realized by surveying and mapping satellites, so the Gaofen 7 can greatly improve the accuracy of China's maps. It can provide high-quality data for entire fields of crops, providing detailed information on how they're distributed. In a recent interview, Wan Gyo Kang, director of Rural Affairs Department of the National Bureau of Statistics, said, Some types of food surveillance should be strengthened in the face of COVID-19 this year. Monitoring shows this year's rice crops in the south were cultivated and matured earlier than usual in Jiangxi, Hunan provinces, and other southern cities. Gao Fan 7 provides more accurate data resources and reinforces our inspection and statistical work. We also got word that the Gao Fan 7 can also play a role in recognizing the height of objects, meaning better building projects. Projects. Yang Luzhong, a researcher of Remote Sensing Application Center under the Ministry of Housing and Herbal Rural Development, also said the Gaofen system could greatly help to accelerate the construction in the transformation of the old residential areas. With only a handful of developed countries having comparable satellite mapping systems, the Gaofen 7 is expected to greatly improve China's ability to survey and map large scale construction projects. Mixed feelings or good feelings? We wouldn't be us if if we didn't give all of the information, would we? Well, hold on to your horses while you listen to this and tell us what you think afterwards. The Asia-Pacific Leadership Network for Nuclear Non-Proliferation and Disarmament has said that space and China's launch of the Gaofen 7 is part of the grand strategy for China as it assessed the prospects of the proliferation of space warfare capabilities, the institutional and legal regimes, and constraints on space weaponization, worst-case militarization scenarios, and pathways for demilitarizing space. This isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it certainly brings up some doubts as to how genuine China is about their thoughts on space domination. This is because with an outstanding $8 billion budget, China has an ambitious space program and is on par to establish a permanent space station by 2022, a lunar research outpost by 2036, a solar power satellite SPS transmission capacity from a geostationary orbit or GEO by 2050, and a world leader in space by 2050. Very ambitious thoughts if you ask us but we doubt other world powers like the US and Russia will sit idly by to watch China dominate outer space. Things to know about Gaofen 7. Before we leave, we'll be dropping a few things we'd want you to note and remember about China's latest satellite, the Gaofen 7. The Gaofen satellites are part of the Civilian China High Resolution Earth Observation System. Like we mentioned earlier, the Gaofen 7 is designed to obtain high-resolution optical 3D observation data and high-precision laser altimetry. 
this might come as a shocker to you, but it's facts and facts only. The Gao Fan 7 payload was joined together by two small satellites and a CubeSat. The Sudan Remote Sensing Satellite was developed by Shenzhen Aerospace Dongfang Hong Hit Satellite Limited, Huangpu 1. A technology demonstration satellite was developed under the Shanghai Institute of Satellite Engineering. That's it, guys. We've come to the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching, but humor us, if you will, by telling us what your thoughts are towards China's latest development. What's your expectations? What excites you the most? And we'll see you in the next video.